Yes. Yeah. Uh, they, they think that the evolution is an adaptation that provides intergroup cooperation. Uh, if we extend the meaning of religion from its uh, etymology, which is uh, we, which bonds together, almost uh, which bonds together under the same law, uh, could we extend uh, the word religion to other behaviors such as atheism if pushed too far? Uh, okay, intriguing gentleman over there waving radically. Yeah, uh, question for Richard Dawkins. Um, you often label the most famous atheist in the world. And I'm just wondering if you're proud of that title. Uh, are you proud? Uh, there you are. Um, good. We're going to take those questions. One, two, three. Uh, Richard D., starting with you. Well, the, the first question about Commandant, uh, what was it was, the guard, I, I think the questioner answered his own question, and I, I agree with the answer that he gave. Um, I didn't actually understand the second question, so I'll leave that to somebody else. Um, and the third question, am I proud? No, I'm certainly not pr proud. I may have some of the uh, seven deadly sins, but that's not one of them. Would you be proud, Richard, if in 2,000 years there were Dawkins atheist churches across the world? <laughs> no, I, w I would hope it didn't come to that. I would like my books to be, to be still read. Okay. As Hilo Bellock said, his sins were scarlet, but his books were red. Very good. Uh, uh, scarlet sins, uh, red books. Uh, let's hear from the theist side. On the second question, or uh, anyone? Sorry, I think, was it no, I think those questions are really all directed to uh, Richard. Okay, um, and, and there was the, the middle question, which we're just going to float in the air. Can I just get one in from Twitter, uh, which is that Charles Moore has got it wrong, apparently, says an anonymous person on Twitter. Uh, atheists don't think we are, are any better. The main point is we don't like religion getting a disproportionate say. I suppose the question is there, does religion get a disproportionate say? Do you have any comment on that? I think, I think that um, one of the good things about modern times is, and it goes back to early Christianity, uh, and in this way I have no objection to Dawkins, Grayling and the rest of it, is that we have come under attack. That was part of the profound understanding of Christians about what is likely to happen to you in the world. And it's perfectly true, and all the atheists here, I agree with them if they say this, that when Christianity takes political power, it's very bad for Christianity and very bad for everybody else. Okay, uh, thank you for that. Question one over here, please. Uh, down at the, yes? Hi. Um, from your side, it seemed that you, your opposition to them is that they rule out your position, as is in your belief. But do you think Dawkins, Hitchens, Harris are having a negative impact on society? And if so, can you justify that? By that, I mean with their science, their skepticism, their humanism, secularism, can you say that um, that's a negative? Are, are they making a better uh, world? Are you making a worse world? Question two over there. Uh, someone at the back. Thank you. Um, Mr. Dawkins, um, it's been said by uh, famous scientists that uh, if the world was not, create, uh, was not created how it was, the universe was not created how it was, uh, human beings as they were would not be here today. Uh, do you not think that some sort of suture natural force is in place here. Thank you. Uh, can I just say uh, uh, that we are, uh, questions from ladies are welcome. We are a co-ed school. We made an extraordinary observation in the school that the world is co-ed. Um, so, uh, question, yes. Hello, I'm very uh, hello. much an atheist myself, but I want, to know about, I want to know about Richard Dawkins' beliefs. Does Richard Dawkins believe that Christianity and other religions have had an enormously beneficial society, uh, effect on society and on individuals for thousands of years? And that when a vicar stands up in church and says he believes God's telling us, he's using it as a metaphor to teach people how to behave well in society. Does he believe those things? Because if not, then I think he is a fundamentalist. Okay, uh, let's just begin over here then. Um... Uh, on balance, even though I've worked out that you guys don't believe in God, do you think that the world, on balance, is better for 2,000 years of Christianity and 4,000 years of Buddhism and Hinduism? Well, I, I take it that um, the uh, great classical tradition, which lasted right up until about the 4th century AD, nearly 1,000 years, and from which uh, Christianity gets most of its 
ethics. I mean, you have to remember that the ethics of the New Testament, which says, give away all your money, don't take any thought for the morrow, repudiate your family if they don't agree with you, is pretty well unlivable, other than by um, monks and nuns. And that it was so because, of course, they thought the end of the world was just about to come. And when after a couple of centuries, they were, you know, looking at the watch, and they thought, well, we better have slightly richer uh, ethical resources than just those, because they're not very practical. And so they borrowed them wholesale from the classical tradition, mainly from Stoicism. I can give you a seminar on this if you're prepared to wait afterwards. And uh, that most of what we think of as the, the ethical benefit uh, comes from that source, from the classical source. Uh, Richard Harris mentioned the great art and, and music which has been inspired by Christianity. And that phrase, that inspired by Christianity, I'm certain is true for people like Bach and many others who really were inspired by their faith. But I'm also sure that um, most artists and composers were, like the rest of us, uh, people who had to eat. And the church was the major commissioning agent at the time. And that may explain why there are so many Madonnas. Uh, okay, uh, uh, Richard, uh, uh, Richard, on balance, uh, and a yes or no answer here, would the last 2,000 years have been better in Western civilization uh, with no Christianity? Yes. <laughs> uh, that, was, that was a yes. Uh, well, that was a yes. I, I, I'd like to take up one of the other questions I made, where I think the question was whether the new atheism ha has having a, a, a negative impact on... Uh, society. I think that was the, uh, the question that I picked. And I would actually, funny enough, say I don't think it is, because for too long religion has claimed the moral high ground, and I think the new atheism in attacking religion from a moral standpoint is quite right to do so, because there's a very great deal of bad religion around and they're right to criticize it. But they've slipped into this new intellectual fundamentalism by claiming the intellectual high ground. They now call themselves the brights. And once when I tackled Anthony Grayling with that, uh, he looked a bit sheepish, as though he'd been rumbled. Yes, he did think himself one of the new breed of the brights. And talking about bright, do you remember your voting slip here? The bright red for four and the plain white against. Uh, just bear that in mind. We're going to take a question. Or do you, anyone want to come back on any of those, the last three? Done. Let's take a question at the back, please. There's a lady here. Uh, there is, uh, there's a lady. Uh, thank you. Hello. Thank you very much. Hello. Um, how can you advocate the fact that my child could have an entirely different education to their neighbour just because they've gone to a faith school? And how can you ethically advocate that I will be governed by laws that I don't believe in because I'm a secular humanist? Thank you for that. Uh, second question at the back and the third one down here. Uh, good, e good evening. In September this year, the Catholic Church published a report to the United Nations, and in that report they said that only one and a half to five percent of Catholic clergy are engaged in child.